Right, so we're back doing bits on Seb's Chieftain. This is the main gun control box um, that we're going to fit in. Obviously, in any new one, as you can see, you can't get new ones. Impossible. But we have got this one. We think it will be okay. We've actually extracted all the um, modules, whatever you want to call them. These like uh, these plug-in cards, almost like a old computer from the 1980s. Like an old Sinclair GameCube, you just slot them in or whatever it's called. They're all looking a bit crusty, but they're actually not in terrible order. And the, the other thing is, obviously, the pins that, that they plug into in, inside the main box. That one there is a little bit crusty there. It's probably been drawing a little bit more power than the rest, so it's probably lost its coating to stop it from corroding, hence why that pin's corroded and none of the others have. So we'll give that a little bit of a scrape up with the old... Uh, scalpel which is obviously the approved tool for this a bit like points on a on a distributor on a car you know a little bit of corrosion it will just stop it sparking whereas this will just stop whatever that is making a uh, contact which we don't want uh, but otherwise they all look good so we'll blow all these down with the airline there's also a little bit of corrosion in in this socket here so i'll, I'll dig the worst of that out it looks a bit like cocaine We'll get that out and snort that, and uh, hopefully then uh, we can struggle this into the uh, tank tomorrow and connect it all up, and as if by a miracle, I'm sure the turret will work absolutely 100%. I love these old valves that would actually glow. It's a shame we won't be able to see them actually working properly, but they would glow ever so slightly. I remember... Years ago, um, my gran had a black and white television, um, and that had valves, and she'd sit and watch the snooker on it. And nobody had a, any idea how she knew what ball she was looking at being potted, but there you go. The valves reminded me of that. Right, well, let's try out this amazing product. Electrical cleaner. You can tell that everything's going to be all in hand when we use this. Oh yeah, look at that. It doesn't like being... There we go. I'll do these plugs as well. Bit of maintenance. But I think what we'll do next is we'll give these individual components, a bit of a blow down. We actually have got some new ones, um, but although they look like the best of their days have gone by, they're not actually so bad. And to be honest, it's not hard to change in the vehicle. So I'd rather try these out. And if they work, keep them, despite what they might look like. And then if they don't work, we can then change them. So at the minute, it's 50 15. The worst thing that can happen is there'll be a bit of an electrical explosion, and that will be that. But I think they'll work fine. That is now brand new. Oh, oh, it did something. All right, it's coming back to life. Look at that. Look at all those individual contacts. All changing at the same time. They haven't changed position for a little while. <coughs> Obviously, I've got no sense of smell, but whatever that smells like. It's, it's, it's it, I, I'm going to let you know <coughs> that it does not smell good. It doesn't, does it? It's just cool. It's, it's almost a work of art. It is, really. <laughs> you see, that's very stuck. Oh, that moved. Oh, this is going so well. Okay. So I'm like, no, you shouldn't be putting them in with pliers. Right, do you remember what goes next? Yeah, I think so. If this works, I will literally eat my own hat. Well, the shoe fits. Actually, something has to give. Now, I think when we do seal this up, when we've got it working nicely, what we'll probably do is take that seal out. And uh, when you see them, 
and just silicone it closed. Probably leave the seal and silicone it closed because why do you need to go in there? Why do you need to go in there? A bit of WD-40. Okay. We should come back to this tomorrow. Right, so we're inside Seb's Chieftain tank in the turret. This area here is where that gun control box is going to be. We've just had a quick look round. All the plugs look okay. I mean, this one's got a bit of corrosion in, but generally, I think this is one of the worst ones. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to salvage that. Um, so I'm just going to give it a good clean up in here. And then we've got the, the job. It's going to be a bit tight. We're going to try and struggle it in and get it in there and bolt it up. And connect it all up and as far as i can see all the wires and everything else is present we just need to put the joystick thing on over here um and there should be a, another one down there but for now we should be able to work it off just the one someone will probably say no that won't work but we're gonna have a go um we do have another but it just means going to pick it up so i think we'll uh struggle that box in i'm not even going to try and film putting that in because it's going to need both of us and we've got no one else here to film today so we'll cut back when we've got the box in me and jack have struggled the gun control boxes in and connected all of these cables which was an absolute nightmare not gonna lie we, we, we lost our patience multiple but, times yeah quite yeah, a lot quite a lot a lot um, of swearing toys were thrown out of the pram yeah all the time. yeah i also managed to hit him in the face with a ratchet that yeah, really pleased him my lip. that was good yeah um, we're, so we've also put the speed camera gun in, or both of them, the, the gunners and the commanders. Um, so hopefully that'll work. We'll just simply start the engine, <laughs> start it all fire up, up the metadizer that yeah. will work. Hopefully some of that will work and we'll uh, spinny spinny gun spinny and then we'll see if we can stabilise the gun. That would be, mm. that would be mega. Yeah. yeah. The so, other box we put in behind his head. What's that yeah. one? This one there. Yeah. Don't know what that box is, but it looks it looks smart. It looks the piece. It, has, it says Commander's Control Monitor Unit. There you go. And it has a dial of where the gun and is a facing. digital display that we're expecting just a light up, oh, like a Christmas work, tree. Like yeah. Yeah. And also, does anyone know how to work the searchlight? There's a searchlight box there. Um, I'd quite like to have a go with the searchlight. We'll show you some photos of that because it looks quite tidy inside. But do you have to have the metadines running? and then turn it on. No idea. Yeah. If, uh, if you know, let, let us know in let the comments. Know, yeah. That'd be cool. cool. Let us know in the comments. Look at me, I'm a YouTuber. Oh, we're going to go and have a cup of tea. Yeah. And then and we're what, gonna... what, what's the other bits we're going to do? We are going to fit a few more little bits, aren't we? Yeah, so we, we've got a, we've got a periscope to go here um, for, for the for the gunner or the aim, what you want to call it. Yeah. And that plugs into the Marconi computer system, which is under the commander's seat. Uh, yeah, which is something we are missing. Well, no, we've got one. It's we've just got, a bit poor. Well, yeah, we've got one, but it's 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 got a bit of water damage. It's got so a bit of water damage. We're going to have a look at that as well, but we don't need that to spin the turret, do well, we? Well, apparently so, not. Apparently not. not. I mean, I, I'm still not sure. No, that. the other thing we do need is there is a box in here somewhere that's been smashed a bit. Oh, yeah, the, the, the display just, unit. You see, we're going to uh, replace that because somebody's yeah. took a hammer to it. But yeah. that's all to do with the... The scope and the pe um, so Range we don't finder. think we'll need that to actually spin the turret up but we are going to try and put it all in because it looks better with it all in yeah. and then um, we're not actually far off having a complete turret really are we? I did notice we're missing someone's nicked the MBC yeah I noticed that as well yesterday I know we've got one of the yeah we've got well we've got two I looked at them earlier um, so we've got that as well that big box goes just here and that's all to do with your air filtration system because it's cool and then the only other thing missing really is a big radio box from in here Oh, we've got that. No, but we have got that, yeah. You're going to get in, Commander. Oh. 
Yeah. Moment of truth. Noise I'm waiting for that light to go out, I think. I think. I don't we'll really stay know. on. <laughs> I've no idea. What does it say? Test. HD on, press the test. Well, it's obviously on. I'd say it's on, wouldn't you? Right. The problem now is, are we going to be able to hear them fucking metadons? Well, watch the lights dim as you turn it on to do trap first. Do tra traverse first. Traverse first. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. That's still going, isn't it? Oh, that light's gone out, so that's warmed up. Hey, up with that light down there now in that lot. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Got salt in front. Right. Can we do elevation now? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, mate, this could work. Oh, <laughs> this is scary. This could work. I don't right. know if I want to touch anything metal. Don't right, just give it a second. Yeah, yeah. Just, I'd lean back a little bit more you and get... I, I'm going to just get away from the gun. Yeah. Because you're also still on a bit of the move, so... This moves, isn't it? Yeah, this bit moves and that bit moves. It's just... Don't. Yeah, right, go on then. Press the trigger, see what happens. You got any lights when I press ah, the trigger? Ah, one minute, we're not... You're off. Ah. Oh, uh, you're off as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Are you ready? Now, if it does start and you can't stop it, yeah. click the thing to stop. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Right, I'm on. Not like anything else when I do that? No. Oh, cool. Try the one lower down. I'm going to. Don't worry. Just don't No? Yeah, nothing. Um, do I flick this to override? Yeah. Turn it off, then click that down, and then turn that isolator. Come on. Come on. So basically, we had to stop because, as you can probably see, fire is happening. I don't know, don't know what, but this unit here is obviously quite unhappy. So it's but not best pleased, it's it? not best pleased. But I have got three oh, others. So to be fair, that smoke's pretty good. Is it good? Mm. Right, I'm going to stop the. Uh, and turn it all off and we'll remove this. Yeah, let, let's yeah. swap that out for a, for another one. Have you got the pliers? Yeah, there we are. Okay. Yeah, so we've picked up some spares over the weekend. Fortunately, some of these boxes. Thank you, Matt. Spent a lot more hours than that one. Who the fuck's Steve? <laughs> BBC. Right. I'll probably need you to be in here and hold some of this stuff out of the way. I'll have to open that one up later and have a look. Right, 
So we've hit a little bit of problem. We've got the tump gun box all sort of working, but it doesn't traverse, but it is clicking. Um, we think it could be this box here, and we have got a new one, which is this one, I say a new one, a better one. This is the one that we took out of it. Nothing seems to move on these gauges at all, um, whereas the other boxes are all doing something, but this one isn't. So we've got a fresher one that if Jack pans around, you can see there. It looks in a lot better condition. But some idiots dropped something on the top here. Oh, and actually one. bust some of the... Uh, you can like move that, your big fat fingers out there. Like, yeah, so like that bust. one there. The capacitor's all smashed and that one was mm. smashed. So what we're doing is we've read the number off the capacitor and we've gone to our spares department, again with another damage unit here that's got a broken capacitor. So we're robbing the two S1s resistors off another unit and we're going to try and solder them back onto here. Luckily, they're exactly the same length. Oh, yeah. Well, proves, it's better yeah. to be too long and too short. Yeah. So I'm going to try and... That's what she said. Some of the finest knackered solder that we've had for years. Well, I'll tell you what, mate. Oh, Picasso would be proud of that. That's got that. That's hellish. Right. I'll wrap this up a little bit more and then hopefully more solder. Yeah, lots of solder. That's what you want. I'll tell you what, this camera's wicked at focusing. Probably hold it away a bit. Probably don't like being so close. There you go. I've got it. I've got it. All right. I've put the... Some will be going, oh, you've used too much solder. Oh, you shouldn't make it smoke. Oh, yeah. Oh. That one of my exes that said that, weren't it? <laughs> Shut up. What do you know about <laughs> bloody wiring, silly woman? She probably um, watches this channel. Yeah, she probably does. She'll be fucking... Bro, we are a big deal now. <laughs> come off, come off. I'll say us. The, ro the royal us. The royal we? Because for once, I'm not doing the work. Is, is that a dick? No. Oh, yes, that was good. Look Did at you him catch go. that? Right. I'm going to... Yes. Oh, we shouldn't smoke if it. Oh, yes, this is a thing. Right, this is the neatest bit of soldering I've ever seen in my life. Look at that for a repair sports fans. Right, just have a double check and make sure everything is as it should be because. Oh, it's absolutely tipped up. Right. That looks a bit nicer, doesn't it? I reckon we'll put that one back in. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's yeah. considerably better, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, just yeah, just turn it 90 degrees. Yeah, that's it. Like that. Perfect. Here's you where we bust it again. Idiot. Oh, I've broke Somebody the flux going, capacity. Oh, you got to be so careful with that. You can't wear, you got to wear static. Oh, you can't wear Kevlar around that. Uh... Said by the same kind of people that wear double denim, so don't worry about it. Yeah. We in trouble. They them. <laughs> they them. Yeah, you see, that other one, the gauges were like sort of stuck at funny angles, weren't they? Yeah. There's, what this one will do is it will live up, go to those angles and stay there for the rest of its <laughs> life. Right, do, should we have this on normal? I really don't know. This one was on AC again. I think we'll just try it like that. Yeah. See what happens. Oh, I'd flick a few more switches first. <laughs> Oh, what happened there? Don't 
you knock a safety? Ah, it's blowing that breaker out. Oh. Push it in. At least that brake is working. Oh, what are we going to do? Can you press anything then? No. Don't have your leg there. Hey, up. Ah. So that blew that out as soon as I pulled the trigger. Ah, okay. Try it one more time, just make sure that's what it is. Yeah. Try the lower one. Well, that's worked, apparently. Still no movement though. Ah. Do it again. Wonder why it's blowing the trip. Faint burning smell as well. Is there? Yeah. Right, one minute. I'll go and turn everything off. Right, so we're having no luck so far with getting the turret to work properly. I spoke to a friend of mine, Richard, and he says to put the tank into battle mode, which is done with this big fuse box that's on the side of the hull, which is nicely nestled right underneath the gun. So I'm literally under the main cannon which doesn't feel overly safe. Uh, and he says to me that I need to unscrew this little fuse here. Which is very difficult. And then move this tab over that says battle mode, basically. Which does seem to me moving. So, and then he says that hole that it exposes put the fuse that you've took out in there and apparently that overrides a lot of the stupid sensors which are likely to not be working in this so he says do it to both so I think one's elevation and one's traverse so let's do it do it to both see what happens right Let's try it. Okay, right. Let's try it again. Five. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Start to burn. You ready? So we're so far, as you can see, we're, we're doing no good. Um, and I wonder if the turret motor is stuck on Seb. So we've simply gone to the stores, got a turret motor, which wasn't at all hard and difficult to get out and not heavy. It's 26 volts. So we've got a 18 volt Milwaukee battery, some speaker cable, and uh, let's just try giving it power and see what see what happens through these contacts here and then if, if this spins up we could then take the thing off the tank bring the battery and try it and see if we see what happens mm, it, moved. it moved did it mm. there you go there you go now if i reverse the polarity big should words spin the other way or blow it up 
or blow the battery up in my face. That went the same way. That did, didn't it? So it's not reversing there then. It did go the same way, didn't it? Yep. Yeah. But it does go some way. Yeah, it, it moves, which is more than the one in there is doing. So I wonder if if what happens here with these other pins is it changes something in that gearbox there which makes it spin differently. I think what we'll do, we'll take this cover off and see where the wires go. But basically, that was spinning, weren't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So surely if we get in Seb's tank and we connect that on like that, it should spin. The gun will spin. I don't know whether 18 volts is going to be enough to crank 17 and a half tons around. We could get two batteries. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give it 36 volt off it, right? Yeah. Right, let's take this cover off and uh, we'll come back. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dig. Okay, so this is the motor when it's in the in the slot apparently the traverse and the elevation motor are the same but to be honest that's so tucked up there i can't see it i'm assuming this is the traverse one which does the left and right spin speed which is what i'm mainly interested in right now so i'm going to take off this cable that doesn't seem to be doing anything right now uh, okay right so they're the two prongs that i was lining up the other day so just in case it is the wrong motor, don't have your head there because the gun could smack the turret and crush your skull. And don't have your kneecaps under there because it could obviously flatten your knee. Right, here we go. This is going to be dodgy. It does look like it's stuck then, doesn't it? Yeah. Which would be why it's blowing the breaker. So it keeps blowing that breaker there. So, basically, I need to take the cover off to the brushes. Um, oh, they've got nice and warm, them cables. Uh, and hammer a screwdriver into the core of the motor and try and spin it. No, um, try and free the brushes off. I think what's happened to the brushes, because it's probably not turned for 30 or 40 years or maybe 100 years. Um, when was this built? 1863. Yeah. The brushes, I think, have actually corroded to the core of the motor. Um, and obviously, they should be on springs. They shouldn't be welded to the centre core of the motor. And I think over time, they, they've become welded. So what's happening now is we're sending power to the probes. And rather than it energise the magnetic field and spin the motor around, it's just a direct short between the two, the two uh, brushes because they're, they're welded together, basically. So I need to try and get the cover off free them up and we could actually fix this potentially that'd be cool wouldn't it right okay okay yeah that motor is stuck right well i'm gonna have to give up tried everything, I've had two days on it, um, obviously we don't have a clue what we're doing, um, so unfortunately we're going to have to actually ask someone that does have a clue what they're doing and see if they'll politely come and help us, because um, I can't seem to get any further with it. So, stay tuned for the next episode of Playing With Turrets with the Berlin Chieftain, but um, hopefully we do get it going and we'll see you in the next video.